Gemini, this is your June 2018 reading. Get it out there. Remember, this may not resonate with all Geminis. June 2018 Gemini. Let's get this out there. June 2018 Gemini. Hope your May is doing better, or did well, I should say. We are at the end. Let's get this out. What's going on? Let's see. Seven of Swords. I think I got this for Cancer in the beginning. They got it in reverse. You got it in the upright. This is someone who has uh, flying under the radar. It can be sneaky behavior. It can be all kind of things. But usually they're trying to not be seen doing something. You got the Sun card in reverse starting out. What's crossing it is gain. So you're not happy about something that's coming through. Or maybe gain is like, the gain is not exactly what you were hoping for. Maybe you weren't in gain and you didn't get it. Or But the Sun card is not reverse. It's not exactly the worst card. It's still a good card. But it's like something that you're wanting is maybe didn't come through exactly the way you wanted it. I'm trying to get it out the best way I can. Let's find out for sure. Got some clarifying cards. As you know, I shuffle these prior. I meditate on them. Sometimes a long time. I, I lose myself in the cards shuffling. So um, the Sun card, why you reverse, and why is the Nine of Pentacles uh, uh, crossing it? Sun. Hmm. Why is the Sun card reverse? Nine of Pentacles, why are you crossing it? If something didn't come in the way you wanted it to, because you got the two of wands, it's in reverse. Um, you didn't, I mean, you were making, you were wanting to make a decision. And uh, even the, the, the good decision, the positive decision that could have been made, you weren't exactly happy with it. Maybe you could tell me in the comments about that. Your goal is victory. You're wanting a victory. I mean, it makes sense, right? What else are you wanting with that victory? Give me clarification with the victory card. That is the Six of Wands. It's a beautiful card. It's a Jupiter uh, Jupiter card in astrology. A good card. Six of Wands. Why are you the goal? With the King of Pentacles. Now, the King of Pentacles could be a, a different person. It could be an Earth sign. Uh, uh, Taurus, Virgo, um, Capricorn. But it also could be... What you're striving for is success. The King of Pentacles is a successful person. It's someone who's good with finances and stable. And with a victory card with that, um, I'm thinking that's what you're wanting. Financial stability, um, stability all, all the way around with good decision making. Apparently, maybe you're thinking right now you did not make a good decision or that the decision is not there for you to make a good one the way you want to. I'm thinking something's there. It's just not the way you wanted it. There's the Two of Wands again, and this is the foundation of someone's wanting to make a decision. It's a Mars card in astrology. It's someone taking action. It's a fight for something. And it's a decision-making card, and the foundation is you're wanting to make it a decision, and you're wanting a victory. Gemini is wanting a victory. Why is the Two of Wands uh, the foundation for Gemini? <clears throat> Losing my voice. Yeah, you're not gonna you're coming out unstuck. That's the devil card reverse. When the devil card is in reverse, it's next to I consider a positive card, this two of wands. You're wanting to come out uh come out of feeling stuck. I move this out of my way. In the past, you had a passionate beginning, you started something new that you liked. But for some reason, there's a death card. Maybe you put an end to something and started something new. Maybe something negative you put behind you and then started something new. Let me get another card for the Ace of Wands. You might have put away this uh, Page of Wands energy. This is a fire type energy. It can be uh, a Leo, Aries, uh, Sagittarius. It's in reverse. So you may have... Uh, Start a passionate new beginning in the past, but you also might have ended something 
before that. It's something you wanted to do. In the near future, we got the Three of Swords reverse. So that's usually, well, I got to get another card for that because I wanted to see what that is attached to it first. Three of Swords reverse, why are you there? That's sorrow in reverse. Five, five of uh, cups and the Three of Swords are always attached to sorrow. But with the Three of Swords, it pierces your heart. But the cups is usually mostly emotions. Three of Swords, why are you in reverse? In the near future, you got the Three of Swords. And it is a heartbreaking type situation that you had. I'm thinking of something in the past. But you're still thinking about it in June. It's like it was hopeless, a third-party situation in the past. You found it a hopeless situation because the star is in reverse. Could be also, like I said, finances too because it, you got pentacles over here. Hopes and fears, that's over here too. Or I should say thoughts and feelings. The vice card. Possibly future outcome. The Hermit card in reverse. You're coming out of uh, uh, staying to yourself and uh, being a hermit, more or less. You're not going to be a hermit. The advice is get out and mingle. Don't feel stuck. Go for that victory, your goal. Why is the Hermit card in reverse? Why is the Hermit card in reverse for Gemini? There's a sun card in reverse again. Yeah, you're wanting happiness again. I mean, like I said, the sun card in reverse is not a bad card. It's still a good card. So you're looking for that sunshine. You're looking to step out and get out and, and enjoy yourself. Even though you're, you've got this bad, past three of uh, swords in the past, you're going to come out of feeling like, you know, solitary. You're not going to be solitary. And what's coming towards you is the ten of wands. It's in reverse. Now, why is the Ten of Wands in reverse coming towards you? This is outside environment. Someone's feeling oppressed or coming out of feeling oppressed. Let's find out for sure. Ten of Wands, why are you coming towards Gemini? Someone's looking for something to come in. Someone's wanting, looking, the Three of Wands is also, it's a lot like the Two of Wands. It's, as you know, it's right afterwards. But this is someone looking for something to come in, something better, or looking for negative situations to go away so they're happier. And they're wanting to come out of feeling oppression. Someone's wanting to come out of feeling in an oppressed situation with you. That's what I'm feeling. It's an outside environment. Someone else, possibly. Now, your hopes and, and fears, this is your hopes and fears, is the eight of, uh, <clears throat> eight of Wands in reverse. So maybe you're fearing communication somehow. I need another card for that. Why are you there? Communication, why are you there? Swiftness, quickness, it's in reverse. Why is that there? That's not telling me much. Yeah, you're not wanting to feel left out in the cold. So you may, your hope is to get communication possibly, and to stop feeling left out in the cold, or you're fearing this communication of someone you were left out in the cold with. It's going to be different for all of you. The outcome... Queen of Wands. Queen of Wands is your outcome. Now, this could be a fire sign, or it could be someone with like a lot of fire energy. They're very passionate. It's a lover. You got a lover coming in, or someone from the past, too. It could be. But I'm thinking it's it could be a fire sign. It could be a Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, or someone with that passionate type energy. They're a go getter. They're. they're they're really fun to be with, and, and, you know, everybody likes them usually. And they usually, you know, we got the lover's card attached to it. What can I say? Gemini, you got a lover coming up. Don't know who it is. Maybe someone from the past, future. I don't know. You can tell me in the comments. Give me one more card for that queen. Ah, yeah, it's moving fast. It's coming, it's coming forward to you quickly, so... 
let me know who it is if it comes about for some of you because it is going to hit some of you like this and some you know like i said it does not it will not resonate with all of you but if it does please leave it in the comments i love to hear about it and um you got the full card reverse so you're not jumping in anything too quickly even though it shows me the chariot there maybe you're going to think about it a little bit but not too much i know that for a fact so that is your reading for June 2018, Gemini. Talk to you later. Bye.